Okay, so the question is, how do we do a task where we have to make a certain amount of items, but it's more items than we have slots in the machine because, say, we're trying to do it in advance? This is called stacking your machine, and this is how you do it. We're going to use my ice cream maker, for instance, since I have so many beautiful ice creams sitting out there. So let's pretend I have a task, and the task is asking me to make 15 vanilla ice creams. I look at my machine, and I have this many already sitting out here. I have six. I also have the two strawberries, but I have six vanilla ice creams. I need to put more ice cream in this machine and get it producing more without picking up the ice creams that are sitting in front of the machine. So this is when, this is the only time that having a full barn is your best friend. Any other time, it's a pain in your butt. But right now, it's my best friend. So let me go to the barn. If I touch my ice cream machine right now, I'm gonna pick up an ice cream that I don't want to pick up because I want it to sit there until I take the ice cream task and I'm ready to pick it up. So I'm gonna go to my barn first and see how many spaces I have in my barn. In my case, I have seven spaces left. I need to fill those spaces up. I can do it several ways. I can go around to machines and pick up things I haven't picked up yet, like this honey pot is one. I could also collect these honeycombs and I've added three more. So that's four spots. Oh, and I can pick up a bag of feed. So there's seven. Now I have all the spaces in my barn full. So if I touch the ice cream maker, I am not gonna pick up ice cream. But if I touch it, the queue is going to open. So I'm going to touch it now and my queue opens. It didn't pick up any ice cream. I need to drop one ice cream. So I'm gonna click my vanilla ice cream. I'm gonna pull it down. Now, it is going to start making that ice cream, but I didn't collect any. Now, I cannot pull another ice cream down right now. If I do, it's going to pick up one of the ones in front of the machine because my barn is no longer full. Because when I made that ice cream, I used a cream and I used a milk. So now, my barn, once again, is not full. I have, oh, well, I only have one spot left. Okay, maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe I didn't use a cream and a milk. But anyway, I don't have a full barn. I have one spot left. So I'm going to go do the same thing I just did. and I'm going to do it over again. Now, if you happen to have a barn where you've got like... Say, okay, I'll just pick up one of these. I'll pick up a mayonnaise. Say your barn has 30 spots in it. And you don't have enough stuff to pick up. Then here's what I do. I go to the store and I buy stuff that I know I don't want. I get me a little piece of paper and I write it down, all the crap that I'm buying that I don't want. <laughs> I'm buying it, I'm filling up my store, and when this project I'm working on is over, I will go to my store and sell all that stuff I just bought. That's how I fill it up. I fill the barn up. Okay, so now that the barn is full, and I always check again, because you have to be super careful or you'll start picking up ice cream and you have to make it again. Yes, I am full. A thousand spots of a thousand, I'm full. So I'm going to go back to my ice cream machine, click it again, and I'm going to drop another one. And then I repeat the process. My barn is no longer full. But it can be because I can collect eggs until it tells me the barn is full. But I'm not going to feed that chicken because then my barn won't be full. So he can lay there for a minute while I come back to the ice cream maker and I drop another one. Then I'm going to go back to my chickens. They're going to help me fill up my barn. It's full again. And I'm going to go back to my ice cream maker and I'm going to drop another ice cream. You keep repeating this process and you could have 50 ice creams in front of your machine at one time. Then you take the ice cream task, you click all the ice creams, and boom, the task is over. 20 seconds, you're done. That's it. That's how you stack a machine. Almost the same way we stack um, people in the town where you're not clicking on the buildings because you'll collect the people. It's the, same, it's the same concept when you're trying to collect things or not collect things.
from your machine. And it's a great strategy to use for production tasks in derbies, particularly the Blossom Derby, because when you look on the Blossom board, whatever the time limit is on a task, like we take the chili task that we were doing today. The chili task has, well, it had more time on it earlier today, but now it has two days and 17 hours left. That is the total lifetime of that task. If a person in our derby takes that task, say they took it and they didn't start producing any of their stuff till tomorrow. They were just sitting on it, sitting on it and sitting on it. If that timer runs out, that task is never going to reach. If it starts out at 320, it's never going to reach 375, 350, and then 375, and then 400. What the goal is, is to do these tasks as fast as you can because the, the less time you take on it, the more of your team members can do it for 400 points. And you get way more points for that task than if, you know, person A picked up the task and it took them nine hours to complete it. Person B took the task and it took them, oh, 10, 11 hours to complete it. Person C takes it, you know, it, it would take too long. And in the end, where you could have, where all six or seven of us could have all done that task, and of the seven that did the task, what, four of us would have had it for full points? It goes 320. I think then it goes 350 and 375. Yeah, yeah, if there were seven of us doing it, four of us could have, could have done that task for 400 points. But we can't if we waste our timer on the task. And producing this stuff is too easy to do that. What we need to do is, is we all start producing it when it comes up and then person one takes it, they're done with it in a few minutes. Person two grabs it. And even if person two messed up on their counts and somehow they were missing one sweater and they had to make that sweater, they only have that task in their hands for two hours and then they're passing it. They don't have it for seven, eight, nine hours and passing it. So the best way to do it is yes, to, to stack our machines. And so when we take it, we're ready to clear our machines and we're ready to do the task. And it's so super easy if we do it like that. You just have to think about it. And remember, before you load something else in that machine, check your barn. If your barn is not full, you have to fill it up. Or you're going to be, or I would be making ice creams, you know, for who knows how long trying to make them. <laughs> so.